everyone. It's not a good morning. Uh, so we've been having a problem with the fox coming and taking chickens. I think about every other day I lose one. Lost another one the other day. I lost the, black, the last black chicken I had. It was a midnight Moran. Lost that one. Last night I locked everybody up and one rooster and one hen were still in the hen house and I left them thinking, well, they're in the hen house. He's never gotten anything out of there, so they'll be fine. And then I figured I would lock everybody up today. I went out this morning to let the tom turkeys out because they're a little too big to keep locked up in the barn. So I let the two tom turkeys out and I was locking up Ruby the rooster and the hen that was with him in the hen house last night. I didn't see her anywhere. So I thought the fox had already gotten her. So I was in the barn locking everybody up and I heard her screaming and running for her life. I ran out into the woods and I couldn't find her anywhere. So the fox already got her. I am cleaning my shotgun. I have put out a live trap and I'm going to spend the next mornings sitting outside because the fox always comes in the morning and I'm going to spend the next mornings sitting out there somewhere and I am going to find that thing. I am so angry and so sad that I have lost so many chickens and it just keeps coming back. I can't keep the turkeys locked up because like I said, they're too big and I'm afraid it's going to come and get the toms. So yeah, it's been a bad morning. So I also just got a call. Uh, our trusses are on the way. They'll be here in about 45 minutes. So that's the only reason I actually turned the camera on. I wanted to let you guys know that the trusses are coming. Uh, so we'll stack those somewhere, cover them up with some house wrap until we're ready for them. It's actually supposed to rain all day today. So I don't know how much work we're going to get done in the house. But right now I need to get my shotgun cleaned up and ready because I will be ready tomorrow morning. So far it's come, I think every other day. So tomorrow morning it shouldn't show up, but I'm gonna be out there anyway. I'm gonna be out there every morning because it's always between six and seven o'clock in the morning that it shows up. So I will be out there and let's hope we're gonna have some fox stew. The bottom truss is broken. There's a chunk about three feet long, two inches deep, taken out of the bottom truss. So instead of him just dumping the trusses on the ground, we're gonna have to unload them by hand so that we can leave the last one, the bottom one on there, so that they can remake it. So, fun, fun. Sorry guys, I was too busy watching them unload them. I forgot to turn the camera on. But now we've got a unband them, stand them all up so we can pull the bottom one out and put it back on the truck. How heavy is that, Osh? <laughs> you find out when Tyler's holding four, five of them standing there.
There we go, five good trusses. That's right, we're not quite ready to put them up yet anyways. We just did these posts up yesterday, so. But we got them. We're gonna get them covered up with some house wrap just to keep them from being soaked all the time because we are supposed to get quite a bit of rain. And we still have to put the girts up around the posts, so we need to get those up before we can start on the trusses. And we're not sure how we're gonna get these trusses way up in the air. Okay, so for anybody wondering, it is super hot and humid out here, so we're not gonna be working very fast. I'm also quite tired. We had to get up early this morning, put Mikey on the bus, and then go to his school for his honors awards. I'm very proud of him. Um, but you're gonna see us doing a lot of cutting, and that is because if you go back and watch a couple videos ago, when I was talking about setting the brackets, I did not get them exactly eight foot on center where they were supposed to be. So we're gonna be cutting most, if not all, of the girts to length. And I'm gonna go from, I'm gonna take the length off the bottom, which I've already done once, but I'm gonna do it again just to make sure. But I'm taking the length off the bottom because the bottom of the post cannot move, it's all bolted in. And so that will be the length that I want going all the way up the wall between those two posts. So we're gonna cut them all to fit no big deal it's still gonna work out so let's try to get some girts up but it is so hot <laughs> honey we need to pick up the house and move it yeah. there's no shade here yeah. what was we thinking uh -oh. i'm gonna have to get another saw horse You're the sawhorse. Come out this way a little bit. It's good. When you buy lumber, oh. you assume that you get what you're buying. Okay, so we got the bottom row of girts up over here. It took a lot of thinking, a lot of figuring, a lot of messing up, but we got it. So, we started to work on the back here. And the first one needs to be, we actually got one right, this one needs to be 16 foot. So, we were just going to grab a 16 footer and put it up there because we bought 16 foot lumber, right? Let me show you what we got. So the tape is definitely hooked on the other end. And this is 16 foot one and an eighth. So if we had just grabbed this and put it up there, thinking, you know, it's a 16 footer, we need a 16 footer. If we had just grabbed it, put it up there, it would have been wrong. It would have thrown everything off. We wouldn't have been able to figure it out. And now I know, and you know, Always measure your lumber. If you buy a 16 footer, don't assume it's 16 feet because it's not. So the first course of girts is all done. And now we're going to start on the second course.
Okay, we made it halfway on the second run, but it's four o'clock and I need to go start dinner. So that's all we're gonna get done today. We will pick it up tomorrow if it doesn't rain. Last three jerks before the trusses. 